Today we're going to be learning how to work with Photoshop building a project from scratch, meaning it didn't exist before, we're not opening up a picture, we're just going to open up a blank document in Photoshop. And for this project I'm going to be teaching you how to create your title bar that is eventually going to be placed onto your website when we begin our web design portion of our 12-week course. In order to start a project that does not exist, building it from scratch, we're going to go ahead and click on the desktop icon for Adobe Photoshop. Now that it has begun to open though, we're going to go ahead and click on Photo Editor. You can pretty much always ignore this. We're going to open up Photo Editor and we'll give it just a moment to open up as well. So here's our just, there's nothing here yet. This is just our basic space and we're going to be going up to File new blank file. This is going to pop up a few times while I'm giving instructions here. You can just go ahead and ignore this. Uh, you, it shouldn't pop up for you. I'm just going to go ahead and say close. We're going to name this project your title bar project. Title bar. If yours by default comes up with pixels, it's a little harder for most of us to understand. We understand inches better than we do pixels. So I'm going to ask that you change it to inches. If it's already at inches, you're going to want to go ahead and keep it that way. The width of this project, in order to fit on a web site, the width is going to need to be 8 inches. The height, be very careful about this one, is going to need to be 0.7. So that's 0.7 inches. Very small. It's going to look great on your websites, though. Resolution, most of the time our resolution when we're creating a document, we're going to always want to keep it at 300. But that's not the case when we're trying to create a web-ready graphic. Because this is going to go directly onto the internet, we're going to change our resolution to 150 pixels per inch. Color mode, RGB, red, green, blue. We're going to leave the background white for now. We can always change that later as I teach you how to create backgrounds. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now that we've done this, uh, you might as well just go ahead and save it from here. So I'm going to go up to File, Save As. You're going to go into your Computers folder. Uh, in my Computers folder, I have a Photoshop folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it in there as a title bar in my Photoshop folder. And make sure it is a .psd Photoshop document. Remember, that's always the first choice that you have here. Don't confuse it with PDF, Photoshop PDF. That's a read-only file and you can't work on a read-only file, you can just look at it. So we want it to be a Photoshop document.psd. I'm going to go ahead and say save. I believe I already have one in there that exists, so it's going to say, do you want to replace it? I do, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And there is my blank document. If you hit the control, I'm sorry, the alt key and then your finger scroll, you can zoom in and zoom out uh, eventually when you need to zoom in. Sometimes you'll need to zoom out. So just the Alt key and the finger scroll will help you to do that. 